Do you push or pull your MIG weld? This is one of the most highly debated topics in MIG welding, and I want to hear from you MIG welders on this one. So pulling your weld is when you start with the gun faced toward the beginning of the weld, and you pull that weld straight through with that gun angle remaining toward the beginning of the weld the entire time. Pushing the weld is when you start the weld with your gun facing the end of the weld, and you push that puddle across that weld joint with your gun remaining facing toward the end of the weld the entire time. So pushing and pulling have different characteristics too. Pushing your weld, or forehand welding, makes a more concaved bead face. It's a flatter bead face. It takes up more surface area. Not as deep penetrated as a pull, but great technique to use. Pulling your weld leads to a bit more convexed bead face, a little bit more buildup, in my opinion, but a little bit better penetration. I look at this as I do vertical up and vertical down. So if I'm trying to make a structural weld, I want to run vertical up. I want as much penetration as I can possibly get with a, still a reasonable, good, flat profile. When I'm running vertical down, I'm not necessarily looking for penetration as much as I am speed and coverage. So both of these techniques have their own benefits and their own downfalls, depending on material type, thickness, position, joint type. Are we manufacturing something? We try to knock out 100 of these, because if so, that push weld's a lot faster. Uh, so there's a lot of variables to consider when you do this. Guys, so I'm hoping you have a good understanding of the difference between pushing and pulling your weld. Now I want to hear from you guys, you MIG welders out there, which one do you prefer? Do you push or pull your weld? Or is it scenario-based like mine is? Hey, I hope this tip helps, and as always, let's make it a great day.